This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. This is a sponsored message. I've been using Anchor as my podcast host for a while now, and it's been a pleasure to use. Anchor offers benefits that most other hosts do not. It's free to use, but it also has a collection of tools that allow you to create a podcast completely within the Anchor website or smartphone app. They distribute your show to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other distribution channels without any additional effort on your part, and you can make money from your podcast without any minimum audience size. So you can use it as a more traditional podcast host like I do, but it's also got everything you need to start a podcast from scratch. If you're keen to give it a shot, download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. It's Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. Let's talk about the news. From The Guardian, Saudi Aramco profits soar by 90% as energy prices rise. The Saudi government-owned energy firm Saudi Aramco has reported one of the largest quarterly profits in history, coming in at about $48 billion, which is around 90% higher than the company's previous quarterly profits. Saudi Aramco has said that increasing demand is the primary reason for this massive flood of money, which is another way of saying Russia invaded Ukraine and that messed up a lot of the world's energy-related supply chains, raising prices and providing oil suppliers with more and more desperate customers. And Saudi Arabia's oil comes from easy and cheap-to-pump sources, which means they make higher profits per barrel of oil, on average, than comparable oil-producing entities. From the Financial Times, Germany must cut gas use by 20% to avoid winter rationing, regulator says. The head of Germany's top network regulator has said that the country must cut its gas usage by a fifth if they want to reduce the possibility of a gas shortage over the winter. Russia's reduction in natural gas exports to most of Europe has hit Germany especially hard, as their energy infrastructure has become reliant on that gas over the past few decades. Part of the gap left by Russia will be filled by imports from other sources, including from the United States. But the German government has said they'll likely still need to buy gas from their European neighbors to make up the difference. And gas prices will continue to climb until their whole economy can be recalibrated toward other types of fuel and renewable energy sources. And from Reuters, Kenya's Ruto declared president-elect in chaotic scenes. Deputy President William Ruto has been declared the winner of Kenya's most recent presidential election, winning 50.49% of the vote to his opponent's 48.5%. This election has been tight from the beginning, and four of seven total electoral commissioners have disputed the results, fueling concerns that there might be violence in the wake of this announcement, as has been the case in previous close elections. Ruto's opponent has already indicated through his running mate that he will likely challenge the election results in some way. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.